In about, I think, six weeks at this point from the, the last no contest. Uh, over it yet? Have you moved past it? Have you, have you left it behind or is it still a little frustrating? I love no contests. Um, I was very frustrated at first, but what am I going to do, right? And, you know, I believe I was winning that fight. I thought I looked great. I was doing my thing. And then all of a sudden, I was like, what happened? Um, but, you know, the weeks following, I was wondering, oh, what now? What now? And then, you know, I got a call from my manager, and he was like, you want to fight Jim Miller? I'm like, when? And he was, it was 17 days notice. And I was like, well, let me get on the scale, <laughs> see what I weigh. And um, I was like, I don't know, maybe I should go for a run before I get back to my manager. I was uh, 193 when I got on the scale, yeah. Um, super bloated, eating, you know, like an animal. But I was training. The week, I, I got back in the gym fast. Uh, so I'm in shape. I was in shape. Um, but the weight was, you know, a questionable issue. And, but I'm good. Weight's good. Yeah. So. And so you got the call. Uh, I mean, were you itching to get back in? Like, after that, was it a frustrating result? Were you like, dude, you got to get me back in right away? I mean, after the last two, of course. I was like, what's going on here? Why is this happening to me? Uh, and yeah, you know, I was like messaging my manager, what's next, what's next? And he was like, oh, maybe you shouldn't, you know, take a little time off I, in October. I was like, October? It's like six months away. Um, and then like two days later, he called me. He's like, you want to fight in 17 days? <laughs> so yeah, I was definitely itching to get back in there. Uh, and here I am. Was there any talk with the team or anybody about, like, is this too quick of a turnaround? Because I know emotionally you want to be there, right? But physically, you know, was there any talk, like, is that safe? Is that smart? Oh, of course. You know, I had a minor concussion, um, but I got over the symptoms fairly quickly, and I did everything I could to recover, you know, supplements. I was in a hyperbaric chamber for the last six weeks. Um, and, you know, at this point in my career, I was like, you know, we should, sometimes you got to risk it a little bit, right, to, to get what you want. And I think, you know, a little bit of risk is not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm risking it anyways going in there, even if I didn't have that outcome six weeks ago. So I'm, you know, I was like, let's do it. And this is what we do, right? We fight. You know, I make a living doing this, so that's another reason to do it. They gave me a new contract, the UFC, another deal and, you know, a, a bump in pay, and, and I think it was worth it. You know, I, I could have been, or I was on my way to being, or I should have been 3-0 and on that contract. You know, I beat Leo Santos, I beat Patty, but I lost. And then this one, I was on my way to winning, the Bobby one. So I would have had leverage. So then, you know, I was 1-1-0-1 one, one, oh one after that. So I was like, you know, this was just a great opportunity for me to, get another contract and get back in there with a, a legend and Jim Miller. And I think stylistically it's a great fight for me. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. I mean, obviously Jim Miller, future Hall of Famer. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't respect him on the roster. So what do you think about him as an opponent? He's tough, hard-nosed, always brings it, he's always game. But I believe that I'm better, you know. He uh, lost to an opponent that I had faced and beat, not that that – you know, not that the MMA math ever adds up, but, you know, I know I can get the job done against anyone, so let's, let's do it, you know, and, and I know it's going to be a fight, you know, and it's, he's, not easy, he, he's not finished easily, you know, you can't just get him out of there quickly, and he's always, he comes out, and just when you think, like, he's getting tired, he explodes, and, you know, he's a southpaw, he's got a great, you know, he's got great weapons, and on the ground, he's a savage also, so it's not like, you know, there's no where in this fight where I could just get lazy. But I think it's a great fight for me. Last thing for me uh, is working back to Bobby Green. Does that matter to you at all? No, immediately you kind of wanted to do it, and it went, the UFC went a different direction. But is that a fight that needs to happen again? You know, it's funny. Like, the night before I got the call, I saw that he got the fight with Tony, and I was like, that should be my fighter. You know, that's a big name, obviously, Tony Ferguson, and it's on a great card. But you know, get past Jim Miller, and then who knows what's 
what's next? I, I mean, I, I want a top 15, and I believe that I've proven that I can do that and, and hang with these guys. So, you know, maybe down the line, but, you know, everyone that, everyone above, I'm, I'm like been hanging around the top 15, outside of the top 15 for a while now. And it's like, you know, I need, I'm, I want to catch a break and get a win and get a top 15 opponent. So that's really what I'm looking for. I don't care who it is, uh, but I want to fight forward. Hey, Jared. Alex. Um, I know that you wanted that, that uh, Tony Ferguson fight. You were, you were asking for that fight. So when Bobby got it, like, how annoyed were you? I wasn't that annoyed. I was asking for it a while ago. And, like, he wasn't really on my radar, especially after Patty and then after fighting Bobby. I wasn't even thinking about Tony Ferguson. And then, you know, I think, like, a couple days before that, he, you know, had a little incident driving. So that was, like, I didn't think he was going to be fighting anytime soon. <laughs> Um, so, no, man, I was lost for a little bit after, after Bobby. I was really depressed. I was down on myself. And I was like, this is all, none of this is worth it. <laughs> you know, I was having a pity party for like two weeks. Um, and then, you know, I got this call. So I think it's just, you know, everything happens for a reason. Everything aligns the way it's supposed to align. And, you know, God makes things happen in my life where, you know, I think I need I want things, I want this, I want this, and, but he gives me what I need, so that's what I'm going with. It's the side of the, it's the, 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 side of the fire that you were just talking about, like behind the scenes where like people don't see you, um, see your emotions when you're, when you're home. So like, I guess how hard was it, you know, knowing that you would beat Patty and then this incident with, with, with Bobby Green and then you go home and you're like, like what the hell just happened? Like, how do you get through that? And like, how hard was it? So the week after the fight with Bobby, my friend was getting married in New York. So I went to New York. I was in, you know, my old home, my stomping grounds. I was in Manhattan. I was enjoying myself. And then we came back to Florida and then it hit me. And I remember, you know, I would have times where I was sitting in the couch or in the shower and I was like really upset. Like, you know, I feel like I'm doing all the right things, trying to be of service to people and do what I think I should do. And, uh, you know, you don't get the outcomes that you think that you need so, or the outcomes you want. And, you know, there was times where I was really depressed, man. And I was talking to you about it. Like, you know, like the way that my brain, I'm sick. The way my brain works, like I'm... I'll have moments where I'm, I'll just throw it all, all away. You know, F the UFC, F my wife, F my friends and everything I have, and I'm going to go crash and burn because, you know, that's how I find comfort. I find comfort in darkness, you know, and that's the way I, I used to cope with things. And, you know, luckily I have a great support network around me and people that lift me up and, and guide me, my wife, my number one, and my friends and the people, you know, everyone around me sober and, you know, they were like, you got to get out of this, you got to get out of this. And I changed a couple things up and I started doing a couple things differently that following week. And then within three days, I got a call, you know, and things started looking better. And I, you know, within 24 hours of changing my thought process, I was like, oh, I feel good today. I feel, you know, I feel way better. And, and, and then two days later, I got the call for this. So I was like, oh, my life's great again. And, you know, as humans, we tend to, like, you know, just be negative. Our, we have, like, negative biases towards everything, you know? It's just our primitive nature to, to look at the negative stuff. We never look at the stuff that we've been blessed with and given. We're always looking at the stuff that has screwed your life up or what, you know, you think has screwed your life up. So it's hard to always stay grateful, you know, and that's something that I, I should do. I mean, look, uh, I think my career is you know, better than it's ever been, and, you know, I'm doing better than I ever have, so, uh, you know, I just have to pull myself out of that slump and, and just keep working hard, and here we are. Thanks for sharing that, man. Um, I guess just finally, is a rematch with Diego Ferrer or something that, like, it... No, I don't want, ever want to fight Diego again. He's so good. <laughs> and we're friends now. You know, it's funny, like, all of my past opponents, like, I'm friends with. Well, even... Yesterday, I had a little thing with Pat, uh, Patty on, 
he got married or something, and I, someone tagged me, oh, Patty's dad or something like that, and, and I responded, and I was like, look, I, I hope you had a great wedding, and I hope he has a great career, and I hope that he recovers from his ankle surgery, and he responded, he's like, thank you for the kind words, you know, thank you for, you know, I hope you do well also, and, uh, you know, like, everyone that I fought, it's like, <laughs> Grant Dawson, I'm friends with him, Joe Selecki, yeah, we talk, like, so, and Diego, I've seen, you know, I've seen him, I see him all the time, and, um, and he's so good, dude. He's a savage, he's a black belt champion, he has knockout power. I mean, there was a time where he beat, like, three Dagestanis in a row, and I remember thinking, like, oh, that was a good win, that was a good loss for me. I didn't lose to just some other guy, you know? And, and he went on, like, a seven-fight winning streak after me, so, or something like that, and he was ranked, and, you know... All his fights have been great. Diego, uh, Gregor Gillespie, Benil Darus. Those were savage fights that, like, I wouldn't really want to partake in that kind of fight because <laughs> someone's getting hurt, you know, uh, and you're going to be really tired. But no, I mean, Diego's a great guy, and I wish him the best also. And um, he did just beat my teammate, though, uh, Michael Johnson, and uh, Michael was looking great. Uh, and then, you know how this game works, man. One shot, and it's over. Uh, but... No, I already fought him. Let's get someone else, someone else on there, you know? Awesome. Thanks, man. No problem. That's it? Man, come on. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>